Hello friends, welcome back. Here we will solve this algebraic problem and it is if x is equal to square root 3 minus 1 and y is equal to square root 3 plus 1 then we will have to find the value of x raised to the power 4 minus y raised to the power 4 and that is divided by x plus y whole square. So friend do not forget to subscribe our channel. Now for solving this first of all we will start with the problem. So we will elaborate it. It is in the form of x4. So we can write it as x square and its whole square. Likewise, y4 we will write y square and its square, and that is divided by x plus y whole square. So we'll have to find the value of this term. Now it is in the form of a square minus b square. We'll let x square x square as a and y square as b then we'll get in the numerator it is a square minus b square and the formula of it is a plus b a plus b times a minus b a minus b now this term we can write it as x square plus y square a plus b y square so it is a plus b a means x square b means y square so it is x square plus y square and x square minus y square so it is x square minus y square and that is divided by x plus y and whole square now again it is in the form of a square minus b square type so we can elaborate it again so it is x square plus y square this term we have written x square plus y square and now this term it is x plus y and x minus y so that is divided by x plus y whole square so here we have not elaborated x plus y whole square because we will get x plus y if we we'll square it we will get x plus y whole square value hope till here everything is clear now we'll erase this this was for the understanding only so now separately we'll calculate the value of x square plus y square first of all we'll calculate x square so for x square the value of x here given is square root 3 minus 1 so it is square root 3 minus 1 and we will square it so it is in the form of a minus b whole square and the formula of it is a square minus 2 times a b plus b square a means square root 3 so square root 3 square minus 2 times square root 3 2 square root 3 and b means 1 so 1 and plus b square means 1 square so it is 1 square now square root 3 square is 3 3 plus 1 4 so it is 4 and negative so it is 2 times square root 3 2 square root 3 it is the value of x square similarly y square value will be so the value of y here is square root 3 plus 1 square root 3 plus 1 and will for square will square it now it is in the form of a plus b whole square similarly in place of minus we'll write plus only so it is square root 3 square plus 2ab 2 square root 3 1 plus 1 square so again it is 3 plus 1 4 so it is 4 and here it is plus 2 square root 3 so this is the value of x square and y square now we'll calculate x square plus y square because we will have to calculate the value of x square plus y square term so now for x square and y square we will add both the terms now if we will add negative and positive 2 square root 3 will be cancelled and now we will remain with 4 and 4 so the value of it will be 8 so friend, if anybody has any doubt write your doubts in the comment box I will make separate video for that now we will have to calculate x plus y so we will add x and y so it is x plus y and the value of x is square root 3 minus 1 square root 3 minus 1 and the value of y is square root 3 plus 1 so here negative 1 and positive 1 we cancel so we left with square root 3 and square root 3 is 2 square root 3 and now moving next next term is x minus y so here x minus y and the value of x is square root 3 minus 1 and now for negative y we'll have to negative y value it is 
square root 3 will be negative square root 3 and plus 1 will be negative 1 and here plus square root 3 and minus square root 3 will be cancelled so minus 1 and minus 1 will be minus 2 and at the last we'll have to calculate the value of x plus y whole square here we have calculated the value of x plus y so we'll write it here x plus y and its whole square and now the value of this is 2 square root 3 so it is 2 square root 3 and we'll square it so 2 square is 4 4 and multiplied by 3 so fourth is a 12 so the value of x plus y whole square is 12 and now finally we'll put the value of all the terms so we have calculated x square plus y square value so x square plus y square is 8 so it is 8 and multiplied by next term is x plus y so x plus y here is 2 square root 3 so it is 2 square root 3 and the next term is x minus y and the value of x minus y is negative 2 so negative 2 and that is divided by x plus y whole square so x plus y whole square here we have calculated is 12 12 now we'll simplify so it is 4 to the 8 and 4 3 the 12 so in the numerator we have 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 4 minus 2 is minus 8 and square root 3 negative 8 square root 3 and in the denominator we have 3 only so here we have calculated the value of the term so this is our answer the questions that is negative square root 3 divided by 3 so friend hope this video was very interesting for you if you like the video do not forget to subscribe our channel thank you for watching the video